Thirty-six million, four hundred thousand. That is the expected number of intelligent civilizations in our galaxy, according to Drake's famous equation. For the last seventy-eight years, we had been broadcasting everything about us, our radio, our television, our history, our greatest discoveries, to the rest of the galaxy. We had been shouting our existence at the top of our lungs to the rest of the universe, wondering if we were alone. Thirty-six million civilizations, yet in almost a century of listening, we hadn't heard a thing. We were alone. That was until about five minutes ago. The transmission came on every transcendental multiple of hydrogen's frequency that we were listening to. Transcendental harmonics, things like hydrogen's frequency times pi, don't appear in nature, so I knew it had to be artificial. The signal pulsed on and off very quickly with incredibly uniform amplitudes. My initial reaction was that this was some sort of binary transmission. I measured 1,679 pulses in the one minute that the transmission was active. After that, the silence resumed. The numbers didn't make any sense at first. They just seemed to be a random jumble of noise. But the pulses were so perfectly uniform, and on a frequency that was always so silent, they had to come from an artificial source. I looked over the transmission again, and my heart skipped a beat. 1,679. That was the exact length of the Arecibo message sent out 40 years ago. I excitedly started arranging the bits in the original 73 by 23 rectangle. I didn't get more than halfway through before my hopes were confirmed. This was the exact same message. The numbers in binary, from 1 to 10. The atomic numbers of the elements that make up life. The formulas of our DNA nucleotides. Someone had been listening to us, and wanted us to know they were there. Then it came to me. The original message was transmitted only 40 years ago. This means that life must be at most 20 light years away. A civilization within talking distance? This would revolutionize every field I have ever worked in. Astrophysics? Astrobiology? Astro... The signal is beeping again. This time, it is slow. Deliberate, even. It lasts just under five minutes, with a new bit coming in once per second. Though the computers are, of course, recording it, I start writing them down. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. I knew immediately this wasn't the same message as before. My mind races through the possibilities of what this could be. The transmission ends, having transmitted 248 bits. Surely this is too small for a meaningful message. What great message to another civilization can you possibly send with only 248 bits of information? On a computer, the only files that small would be limited to... text. Was it possible? Were they really sending a message to us in our own language? Come to think of it, it's not that out of the question. We had been transmitting pretty much every language on Earth for the past 70 years. I began to decipher with the first encoding scheme I could think of. ASCII. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. That's B. Zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. E. As I finish piecing together the message, my stomach sinks like an anchor. The words before me answer everything. Be quiet, or they will hear you.
Howdy folks, Shagrel here. I apologize if this ending message spoils the overall atmosphere of the video, but it is important. And I am at least making an effort to keep my voice consistently smooth and jazzy. I would like to ask that if you enjoyed this, then not only could you give this a like, a share, a favorite, all that typical YouTube stuff, but could you possibly also leave a suggestion in the comments below for anything you might like me to read next? Oh yes, this is going to be a much more regular thing since it's a hell of a lot easier and quicker to make. Now then, on to other matters. This video is the fourth and possibly final entry into the Patreon campaign, demonstrating at least the majority of my skills, if not the full range. There is a full-length video that provides backstory and explanation on why I'm doing this, but just to make it brief here, circumstances have turned rather sour in my life and I'm looking to fund my own business, Purgatory Studio. The hell is a Purgatory Studio? I might hear you ask. Good question. Purgatory Studio is obviously an audio-based business. For a start, I deal in dubbing, narration, and even audio-based modding for games. Believe me, that last one will become a lot more apparent as time goes by. But it's not like I can voice every character on my own. The aim here for a good chunk of these projects is to find talent that has potential and skill. I then aim to make something that people can possibly be proud to show others, as well as giving them a chance to show they have said skill and potential. Granted, there is a certain level of requirements for this kind of thing, such as a relatively decent microphone, and the commitment to act professionally about this, but this is not supposed to be some elitist movement that only invites the best of the best. Just know that if you work with me, you pull your weight. There are obviously going to be some solo jobs, this being a one-man operation, but someday I hope to be in a position to put fresh talent alongside well-known talent. Ambitious, I know, but never say never. Just a very quick breakdown of the Patreon page itself. Pledge $1, get mentioned in the credits of my videos. Pledge $5, get links that highlight any social media or profile or anything of your choosing. Pledge $10 and get access to both preview clips and exclusive downloads. There are items available for download now, so if you're feeling generous, it's not like there's nothing in it for you. Past the $10 mark are many offers, these ranging from various jobs that include video and audio editing and post-production, to hiring my voice for either a major or a minor role. You're choosing. Time is not going by any slower here. I have made this as clear as humanly possible that I am not playing a game, and this is not a joke. Word is getting out, but it needs to get out further. If you care for this channel, its future, or indeed, myself and my own, then please, help me spread the word on this. Thank you for your time. Until the next video, folks.